In this tutorial, we will learn how to open and save documents. This is the quick start tab of the welcome screen. You have seen this before. In one of the previous tutorials, we went to the new blank document. Well, now we're gonna open an already existing document. So if we move to the left hand side, you'll find the the open recently document list and you will find the open other button here so basically you have two options you can either click on one of the recently open documents and open that one or you can click on this button here so for this tutorial I'm gonna go to Coral Draw project here and basically we can see some information we can see the actual picture of our project and just down below we can see some information so I will click on this project once so now we have successfully opened an already existing document now what I would like to do is actually change it a bit and then save it so I will add some text to it so I'll go to my tool menu here and I will select text tool click on it once then click where I would like my text to be and let's type let's type tutorial on opening and saving files I'll hit enter and I will go to the pick tool click on it I will select my text and I will press, press letter P now this will center it in the middle of the page but actually I will drag it down so I can see it there we go so basically we have opened an already existing document and we have added some text to it now I would like to save this document now there are a couple of options actually you can save this document or this project on the file that already exists somewhere in your computer or you can you can create a new file and save this document there a couple of ways first of all you can go to the this little icon here and you can click on it or as you can see you can just uh, press ctrl and s on your keyboard as a shortcut or you can actually go to the file menu click on file menu and you will find two options save and save as now the difference between those two options is that if you hit save here or ctrl s on your keyboard this will actually save the changes you have made to the already existing document or project now I would like to create a new document or a project from the existing one and therefore I will save this document by clicking on save as or by pressing ctrl shift and s key this is the save drawings window here you can find some of the files you might have in particular folder or location you can change the location by clicking here and then selecting where you would like to save your document or you can look on the left hand side for example my computer and other hard disks you might have as well if you go here you can find the new folder now by clicking on this you will create a new folder I have already done this it's right here I called it the tutorial so let's do it again I'll hit it and I will name my new folder tutorials too. I'll press enter on my keyboard and then double click on tutorials to folder now this will open a tutorials to folder where I would like to save my work the first thing I will have to do is actually give it a name now it still has the old name Corel Draw, which is the name of the file that I had previously opened so let's change that to the Corel Draw save for example now when I save this file I will create a new file without actually affecting the old file so the old file will still be located somewhere on your hard disk and it will not change at all and you will have an adjusted copy of the original document so we can basically add some title to it so let's call it save and open open and save subject will put tutorial 
Once you're done with this, so you have selected your location where you would like to save your work, you have given a name to your project and you have entered the title and the subject, you can click on save. So basically we have opened an existing document, we have made some changes to it and we have saved this project to a new location without actually affecting the original document itself. So if you would like to save the original document without creating a new one, you would have to go save and you have to click save here. And since we have not made any changes to our object, we cannot save it. So if I was to, for example, copy this and let's move it down a bit. And now if I go to file, I can save this. Now this will only save the changes to the new file, to the new project we have made from the original one. You can simply click on the save icon or you can press Ctrl and S key.